Hey guys, second major with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this no service on your iPhone. Essentially, your iPhone experiences this because of many reasons, and we're gonna explain to you guys multiple ways to go about fixing it, and hopefully one of the solutions help your phone fix it. But before we dive into today's video, if you guys are new to a channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways, so make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, if you guys are in the market for a phenomenal device like the one we're holding in our hand, make sure you guys check out the links in the description section. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. The first thing you want to do whenever you get this no service is first contact your carrier. If your phone was working before and all of a sudden you have no service, most likely it could be that the carrier shut down your line or maybe you're out of the coverage area wherever you are it doesn't have it of course because you have no service you're not going to be able to make a call so maybe use a friend or family phone just to verify that everything on your account is good if you have an online account or some other way to get in contact contact your carrier and it could just be that they disconnected your line or something is going on like a service outage or something like that but if it's not your if it's already a first time that you're looking to activate this line and it's still not working the first thing you want to do if it's your very first time is go ahead and take the sim card out of the phone and put a sim card in again so you want to do that by taking the sim ejector tool that you usually get on with any iPhone purchase you get it's going to be in the pamphlet to show you guys that in this pamphlet on a newer phone or a bigger pamphlet on the older phone inside of it it's going to be that sim ejector tool if you threw that away no worries you can also take a paper clip or a earring piece that's about the size of the hole and then you can put it in there and pop it out so we're going to go slowly put it in that hole push it in gently and you'll hear this pop out and then sim tray will pop out and you'll see that no sim card is installed you'll probably get a message like that if you don't that's fine as well and then go ahead and reinsert that sim card in. just examine the sim card to make sure there isn't damage anything from like liquid getting in dust or anything like that if there is something like that or if you see that it's been damaged somehow you might have to go out contact your carrier to give you a new sim card and they can transfer your old number onto the sim card because it could potentially be just the damaged sim card and then once you know the sim card is good and everything is fine with it go ahead and line it up again with the hole and then put it right back into the phone and hopefully this time it solves your no service issue and if that didn't help the next thing you want to do after you put the sim card in go ahead and power off the device and power it on to power off a newer phone like the iphone 8 and above what you're going to do is you're going to have to hold this right hand side button and the volume up button at the same time so if you hold these buttons at the same time, you're going to get this pop-up menu and it's going to say slide to power off. You're going to slide it to power off, give it about a minute or so, let it completely power off. And once it powered off, you're going to want to power it back on by simply holding this button until you see the Apple logo. We won't do that because, of course, it will take a little bit of time. But... And to show you guys another way to turn off your phone if those buttons aren't working, you can actually go into settings. And once you go into settings, you can go to general. And once you go into general, you can go all the way, scroll down here where it says shut down. You can click on that and it will give you this pop-up menu. Slide it again and turn off the phone and you should be good to go. Hopefully this time it solved your no, oh, no uh, service with that restart. Well, if that didn't help, the next thing you want to do is simply turn on and off the airplane mode. So what this does is resets all of the signal wireless antennas on the phone. So you want to do that, give it maybe 10, 15 seconds, wait till that takes an effect, and then you go turn that back off and you'll see searching and it'll probably be looking for your network and hopefully that helps. Well, if that didn't help, the next thing you want to do is simply go again back to settings. So you're going to be in setting. Uh, this time around, you're going to go to cellular. Once you go into cellular here, you're going to look for SIM pin. So you're going to click on SIM pin and make sure this is toggled off. So you want to make sure there's no SIM pin locked on it by accident or something like that. So make sure this is turned off. As it's grayed out, it's turned off and you're are good to go there as well so no need to worry about that. and then next thing you're going to want to do is simply 
go ahead and come back to cellular here and then click on carrier services so once you click on carrier services make sure you're seeing your account information here so most of the time it'll show things uh, like uh, what account that you have and then link to your account and things like that make sure it reads your your actual carrier that you have so you want to make sure that is good as well and all of that is good to go and now we can do move on to the next thing and if you have an older phone you might also see another option where it says network selection and you want to click on the network selection and make sure that it's not set to automatic it's set to pick your carrier you're going to turn off automatic and select your carrier from a drop down and see if uh, that helps all right so after that what if you still have that no service issue what's the next thing you should do of course the next thing you want to do with the phone is go into settings again we're already in settings as you can see here open up settings and once you're in settings here now this time you want to go to general and once you go to general you're going to scroll all the way down you're going to see that reset option you want to click on that reset option and the reset that we want to do is this reset network settings so what this will do if you click on that it will reset all the network settings back to factory so all of your wi-fi that you ever connected to will be reset your cellular uh, network that you have it will reset this will not make you lose your number or anything like that all it's doing is just refreshing the phone like you bought it new without uh, anything it'll just clear all of that out for you to factory setting it won't delete your photos videos apps or anything like that everything on the phone will still be there it's just the network that is being reset if you're having that issue go ahead click that and then click on that reset and it should uh, do that for you and hopefully once it does that it fixes your issue and what if that didn't work well the next thing you want to do is actually do what's known as uh, just updating your software on the phone so over time Apple releases new bug fixes things like that to help you make sure your phone is up to date with the latest software with your carriers and the network and things like that it's definitely good to over time go ahead and update your phone to do that you're gonna go into settings once in your settings you're going to go to general this time you're going to look for software update click on software update and make sure you're connected to a good wi-fi connection because your cellular isn't working you probably won't have data look to see that if there is a new ios update available it's going to be something like this as you can see right now this phone there's an update that's available which is a 14.7.1 it gives you information you can read through it go ahead and click on download and install and that should hopefully fix any issues because you want to make sure you're on the latest software update of course after that um, if it still doesn't work the next thing you can do is actually again go into settings once you're in settings you're gonna want to go to general and then about this time and this time in about you want to take a look at that firmware you see that firmware right here what you want to do with that firmware is make sure that firmware is the most up-to-date firmware for your phone and verify that with either your carrier or apple to make sure that firmware it's the right one sometimes if that firmware is out of date that's because your probably phone isn't updated yet so if you need to do a software update make sure you do a software update as that addresses those issues for you so there you guys have it all the tips that we have for you guys for experiencing that no service hopefully one of these tips help you guys again remember it could be simple as being in the area where your phone doesn't have coverage that's why you're getting that no service but of course follow through with your carrier and all these other tips that we mentioned and hopefully one of them help you guys fix your issue if you guys also found another issue to help fix that leave a comment in the comment section so you can help us and everyone as well thanks for watching guys see you guys next time